Hello everyone, welcome to the basic tech and today we will talk about how you can create local users and groups on Windows 10 operating system, right? So yeah, let's start and see how we can do it. So first of all, you can start your Windows 10 operating system, click to start menu and then type lusrmzr.msg. Fine. Once you type this, this is a simple command that you need to type in a start menu and then click to enter. You will get the local users and groups console and here what we can see users and groups are all listed whatever are created in the operating system, right? So first of all uh, we will create group and see how we can do it. So come to a groups directory and right click in the middle of the portion and click to new group once you click to new group type group name it means it means uh, accounts or anything but i'm just typing is for example right you want to add any thing it means any security protocols and anything so you can just click to add button and then advanced options here what you have to see click to find now and see administrator privileges application so you can just expand the name direct the name folder and see we can see a lot of things with the complete name anonymous login authenticated users authenticated authority batches everyone if you add everyone so this can be done everything by uh, adding any user and you can use uh, you can uh, add any already created users and a lot of settings that you like to add so i'm going to add only users and services okay so i'm just clicking to ispw this is the user and clicking okay this is the user that you have access sub sort of so i'm going to edit and then create that's it so we can see it one group is created here right now what we can see we can come to the users directory and we can create new user right so right click in the middle portion and then click to new user and here type according to your naming convention so i'm typing demo underscore two and uh, whatever password you like to choose you can choose it and then uncheck user must change login and then click to never expire if you don't want to change your password if you want to change then you can use change for next logon or if you want to uh, share this user to uh, another person then you can also choose next logon option right now uh, what we have to click create and then wait for a second it will create now fine so, so we, the users has been created now click close button and then we can see demo is already created now go to properties and you can see that uh, uh, how many users sorry how many groups are added for this particular demo user so see only users is the part of this demo group now what you have to do if you want to add or provide privileges access then just click to add button and then click to advance find options and then see this is the administrator group that will provide you complete privilege access of operating system so you can just click to ok button and you will get it apply and ok fine so now here you uh, did two things you created one group and another user the with the privilege access so this is how you can do it and how you can just uh, you know provide access and create users so that's all if you like the video, kindly do subscribe and share and do comment if you're facing any challenge. I will definitely help you. Okay, thank you so much.